Mr. World. Hello everyone, it's Erlaine. So, sorry this is a super close shot. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone by last video because this is so requested. I don't I don't even know why. Like Mm, I mean, I like watching these videos too because it gives me app ideas. But you guys have been requesting this nonstop, and I decided I'm gonna be doing these videos seasonally. So this is gonna be my what's on my iPad winter edition. So I hope you guys like that idea, so you can still get what's on my iPhones, but like I guess on a good, I don't know, pace. I don't know, but yeah. So here's the video, and let's get started with what's on my. IPad. So I have the iPhone 5S in gold and my case is, I don't know where it's from because my mom got it for me and it's clear and has this really cool pattern on it as you can see and there's butterflies and flowers and I really like it because it's really protective even though it like doesn't look protective I've dropped this thing way too many times and surprisingly it still hasn't cracked. So my lock screen is from the We Heart It app and it just has a snowman and a branch and it's really cool because obviously it's almost December and almost winter so you know gotta be prepared for that and when you have the iPhone 5 you can either type in your password or just use the touch ID so I have three pages of apps and for some reason my phone made an extra page I don't know why I did that but my background is also from me hard it and it's just an underwater thing and you can see the surface and the sand and I just really like it because it looks super cool but on the first page, I have settings, photos, camera, app store, tips, weather, notes, FaceTime, Google, contacts, iBooks, and, and find my iPhone because I lose my phone a lot and, and I just have it downloaded on my iPad too so I can just play the sound and look for it really easily. And then on the bottom, I have mail messages, Safari, and text free. And on the second page, I have all my folders. So in the first folder, I have Instagram and you can follow me on Instagram if you would like to. My Instagram is underscore Elaine underscore. I have a lot of posts here. I realize I post a lot of food pictures like Here's candy, TGI, fries, and yeah, and drinks. I think I have a problem. And then I have Snapchat. My Snapchat is public, but you can only see my story. You can't like send me Snapchats. So my Snapchat is Erlaine underscore ZZ. And I have three things on my story. And then Twitter, which is also public. My Twitter is dancer underscore Erlaine. Yeah, I don't really know what this is, so I'm gonna delete it because I didn't even post that. I guess I accidentally did it when I was thinking, don't waste that much. And then I have Tumblr and Vine, which are now private. I don't want to share them anymore. I mean, you can watch my old ones on my iPhone to see what they are, but I'm not gonna post them anymore on those. I just see posts. And then Facebook, which is private, Kick, which is private, YouTube, which is what you're watching, and then Skype, which is what I use for 7 Epic Dancers, but that's also private too. And then I have my photo editing folder. So I have Square Ready, VSEO Cam, Photo Rest, Photo Editor, which is just like Avery, but I just like the icon for this app better, so I got it instead. And then I have Rookie in Moldive, which has lots of collages. I think this is my like favorite collage app ever you can see they have a lot of things you can just buy more if you want and then they also have these magazine collages and I think this is so cool I think my favorite one is this one that one and um, that one because it just looks super cool and then I have photo wonder and bend which is a pretty cool app if you like to add text to your pictures and so all you do is just add text I'll put Leah's name in and obviously it just bends your words so you can even change the way it curves if you want straight sideways triangle square whatever you choose and it's a really cool app and then I have after photo which just lets you add text to your pictures and, and then in this folder I have all my utilities so I have Gmail battery doctor and then YouTube creator studio which is a youtubers dreams app so basically if you like to pay attention to your YouTube channel a lot but you don't want to like take the time to go into the YouTube app to reply to comments or the on the computer to see your analytics or whatever so this is a great app for you so basically you can do a lot of stuff on here you can see your views your subscribers that you've earned in the past few days likes and if you have an adsense how many how much money you've made and, and then you can reply to comments really easily so all you do is just tap on a comment and then tap respond and type it in post and you're done and you can even like edit video descriptions if you want and then you can edit the description privacy whatever you choose and that's a really cool app to me and then paypal sleep time soundhound and free music and then in this folder i have all my school stuff so i have quizlet which is like you flashcards and then Enigma, which is a QR reader, and Remind 101, which is a really cool app because I forget stuff a lot. So basically, your teacher has to set it up. You type in your class code right here. You click tap join, and it goes into your subscribed classes. So I have it for science and math, and basically, your teachers send out quote-unquote 
text to you and it just gives you reminders like for math I have tests and retake things. It's just really cool because I forget a lot of stuff in school. And then I have calculator math and photo math because I cannot do math. And then clock which has all my alarms. I think I only have one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Take that back. And then I have this folder which has all my games in it. So I have Game Center 2048, Jelly Splash, Mega Jump, Subway Surf, Tumble Run 2, Fun Run, and then this game called Two Cars. I got it just yesterday. I hate it so much, but I like playing it. I don't know why. So basically, there are these two cars, obviously. And one of the cars is blue, one of the cars is red. And you have to get all those circles and you have to avoid the squares. And you can't miss a circle or you lose. So here's this. It's really annoying because sometimes you gotta like do things at the same time or you move too slow or too fast. It's kind of easy. It's just like having to control the two cars at the same time, I don't know. And then this folder, I have just like my shopping stuff. So I have eBay, Amazon, Imagoo, App Store, Retail Me Not, which is really cool because it has coupons. So if my mom and I ever go shopping and she just has a coupon, boom, we can just go on this app and they can scan it and we get the discount. And then I have the Starbucks app and you're like, why does she have the Starbucks app when she needs the Starbucks? Well, I'm going to Starbucks in a few weeks, so I'm just gonna put some money on here from my PayPal and then just do that. Sorry for the background noise. And then I have all my random stuff. I have better fonts, Cocoa Paw, which just lets you have like icons, customized icons and wallpapers. Like There's like a Google Chrome thing. And if I ever get sick of my wallpaper, I just go on here or we heart it or whatever. And then Monogram it and Monogram Light, which is more wallpaper things. Characters, which is like little symbols, like stars and hearts and yin yin. -yin. What did you choose? And then inspirations, which has daily Bible quotes. And then this folder is just my barely used things, the apps that I barely ever touch. So I have Google Plus. I only have Google Plus because if I ever want to change the, you know, profile picture on my YouTube, I just go in here. And then the secret free menu app, which is the Starbucks thing, so I can remember my drink that I want to get when I go there. I'm gonna get the cotton candy frappuccino and then the lemon lime refresher because they look really good and then facebook messenger which i haven't even used yet t0 which is a countdown app so i have a countdown to my birthday christmas starbucks when i'm going and then my friend's birthday and then we heart it i hate we heart it so much the only reason why i use we heart it is for wallpapers and to just look at things like i would probably save this for a wallpaper this is cute so i may save this right now then I have Pinterest, which is what I use for any DIY ideas for videos. And then on the last page, I have Useless, which has phone, passbook, newsstand, math, music, iTunes, podcast, videos, health, calendar, voice memos, reminders, compass, and stocks. And then video, which is, I never touch it, so I, that's why I have it on the last page. And I have Square Ready Video, Flippergram, and Splice. And that is basically my phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little What's My iPhone video. And I hope you guys like the idea that I'm going to be doing these seasonally. So my next What's On My iPhone will be in March or April or May for the spring edition. But yeah, I love you guys and...